Jurgen again and um, today I'm gonna answer a question somebody asked me it's a question I stumbled in when I started making uh, screencasts myself so it's only the third th time this time but uh, I had to look up a few things and I actually looked up some uh, some more stuff just recently um, the question is what software do you use to make screencasts well the quick and easy answer is I use GTK record my desktop but this is a program that runs under Linux um, and what does it do it just copies your screen and stores it to a file it's as simple as that um, I don't know if there's I, I assume there is but I mean I, mean, I don't know f about a solution under Windows because I didn't look for one um, I just like the idea of using uh, Linux for this uh, for a few reasons for starters the tools are available secondly um, Linux in my case Ubuntu but this also goes for any any version of Linux uh, already has the culture of sharing the culture of communicating the culture of being open and I like it and this is also why we do these screencasts it's also why I enjoy stepping into the whole open source uh, ecosphere um, because of the central repository it's often easy to install great software so that's another reason why I like to choose for Linux over some other operating system so in this environment you see my screen now it's pretty boring it's just uh, it's called what's this thing called uh, variety it's it just changes my desktop and the, the code every day so f you, you see when it's when, when, when I'm recording this um, what am I going to use I'm going to use GTK record my desktop and this shows a small screenshot the moment you, you, you click on record it starts recording and this button arrives here I'm gonna quit because I don't want to record inside the record it seems to work but I think it's pretty confusing you, you can choose to record your whole screen or just a window but I prefer the whole screen because uh, it's, uh, it's my choice um, what some people like is the fact that I show the, the keystrokes so if there's this nifty tool it's available under, under Linux it's called Keymon keyboard monitor I'll just put it here for now and it just shows all my m mouse movements and all the pressed all the buttons I press so if I type something uh, you see how all the keys appear and you also see the mouse movements I think this is a, re a really handy tool if you want to demonstrate software um, this is what I've been using for my previous two podcasts now there's this thing about my computer um, it doesn't have a webcam it's a great uh, old-school Lenovo X200 computer it's a bit of an older computer but I really enjoy it it's small it's compact it's really sturdy and it's a version without webcam I didn't feel the need I still don't really feel the need but on the other hand if you're giving a podcast it's also always nice to have a face to look at so I start looking around if there was an option to have one of my Android devices run as a webcam so I start googling or DuckDuckGo or whatever but uh, sorry I'm not that uh, I, I just took Google and I ended up finding droid cam so droid cam and this is an app from dev 74 apps it's a client you install on your computer and there's an application you install on your um, Android device um, so if once you install um, Android cam from the Play Store and you open and you install the application um, on your Windows uh, on your Linux machine you, you can you can you, the configuration uh, explanation is it's written here how you can do it uh, install here we go not really 
complicated it's a little bit of of command line uh, magic but it's not that complicated so I wouldn't worry too much um, for the lazy bastards like me there's also a droid cam PPA if you're running Ubuntu uh, this is the PPA and here is a small word of explanation this is what I actually found first it's talk talking about droid cam and here it shows how to install the uh, droid cam PPA and then you have dro droid cam running um, inside your uh, update system which of course is an advantage if there come updates okay so um, that's that I'll launch it so I, I already opened the application on my browser I'm gonna connect this is the my, my, my local settings and you see nothing but now what happened is we just have uh, webcams I'll hide this window because we don't need it um, and um, yeah it's it's running but it's not not showing anything yet this is the whole um, Linux philosophy so next I, w uh, I started searching for uh, a, a way to have like a small rectangle on my screen that stays there this is something great about Linux you, you can program all the stuff from the command line you can you can do all kinds of stuff you have great freedoms um, so y you, you could just launch a, a small application like Skype or um, cheese and have the pop-up window but this is pretty annoying so I searched for a webcam without uh, on desktop Ubuntu no monitors and product I didn't find anything but I figured out there was this thing with M player M player is a command line uh, webcam on screencast okay and then you have this very simple line here that actually does what you ask you, you can change it a little bit this is a setting from one uh, command line player from but uh, I chose for a similar one actually let's see TV device uh, this one flashes a little bit I, I don't have some flash so what what does it do so it says m m m my device is the video zero it could be video one too depending on how many uh, webcam devices you have the driver is a uh, video for Linux too it is settings you can you can configure you could change them to to something bigger too depending on the resolution of the webcam the video output is just X video <coughs> sorry geometry is telling where to place uh, your rectangle so I'm gonna place it in the bottom right corner just outside um, the edge I don't want the border and I want to stay it on top all of the time so if I now tap enter ta -da, that's me look I'm looking at you uh, now you have a visual I I'm holding my my um, microphone a little bit over my nose because if I put them here on the mouth place I think you'll hear me blow in my microphone so if I if I put them here it doesn't show that nice but uh, oh, now you can see my eye maybe this is just the middle ground so no, now you, you can see m s uh, see me speak and this just stays on the screen so whatever I do it won't go over it uh, ignore this one now of course I have to ch check where I put my buttons um, for Kimon I'm gonna show you some settings here so if you right click on it you have some settings uh, you can de decide w what you want to show you can also um, 
add some some features the high visible flick is this circle that comes around I think it's really handy for podcasts if you add windows window decoration this is the d uh, I don't think that this adds very much if you go window backgroundless it blends into the background um, only key combinations won't show anything if you just type uh, stick keys mode uh, you can scale it up or down a little bit make it bigger or smaller and you can have some different types of uh, layouts uh, if you prefer this then you take that it's a matter of taste I like this one I just I'm sorry it's um, it's not showing the Ubuntu logo here that's why I took the clear Ubuntu thingy but um, I don't like the, the configuration that much maybe I'm going to go back to modern clear no classic nah no way oh I'll take big letters okay key map is if you have some special key layout I think I, I, I don't I didn't change it close so and now you see all my actions here so now I have my basic configuration for my podcast I to uh, I showed you how keymon works I show you showed you how uh, GTK record my desktop worked I'm showing you how I got this small picture on my screen um, what else should I show I don't know so here's my my, my rig my, my small computer so wha what are the my major programs so I'm using Firefox Thunderbird FreeCAD I already made one or two oh, damn it this is one disadvantage when when you open Skype you can't really quit it so I um I will have to uninstall it I think FreeCAD um it's uh yeah yeah I already made the podcast on this my text editor just my my, my best friend in, in Linux together with the terminal um Inkscape graphics program best of the world file manager GIMP uh my chat box LibreOffice Calc my recording stuff Python I'm learning some Python for the moment so this is something I, I use really regular okay that's it for today just a small introduction in the tools I use I'll put some links in the notes with this YouTube video thank you for watching and see you next time bye